Hi, I am Dan Elder from Kidasa Software Support. Welcome to this tutorial video about Milestones Professional. This video will go over what the toolbox is, how to change the size of the toolbox, what all the tools are, and how to copy your toolbox or just a single row of it. If you want a video about modifying the symbols and bars on your toolbox or adding symbols to your schedule, check below this video for a link. The toolbox is where you modify symbols and bars that you want to use on your schedule. When you build your schedule in Milestones, you are only going to be able to use the symbols and bars that are currently set in the toolbox. Before we get into modifying these symbols and bars on the toolbox, let's talk about how the toolbox currently looks. Currently, I have a sample chart open, so we are viewing the toolbox for that sample chart. As you can see, there are 16 rows available in this toolbox for us to use. If you would like to change how many rows are visible in the toolbox, you can right-click on the toolbox and choose Toolbox Properties. Here you can change the number of rows visible in your toolbox. Starting with version 2015, you can have up to 32 rows in your toolbox, which would allow for 64 unique symbols and 32 bars. To make my toolbox look a little less cluttered, I'm going to change the rows of symbols and bars to 4. You can see on the bottom of this dialog box, you'll also notice you can change the number of vertical link rows from 0 to 2. I will keep it as 1, as that is all we need for this schedule. Now let's talk about the different tools in the toolbox. The plus tool in the top left is used for adding a single symbol or connecting two symbols with a bar or vertical link. The arrow tool is used for selecting items on your schedule that you want to modify. For instance, the date heading, column heading, legend entry, etc. It is a good idea to use the arrow tool unless you actually want to add symbols and bars to your schedule, as you can accidentally add things if you have the plus tool selected. The next tool is the T tool, which is used for adding freeform text or modifying column text. The next three tools are the line tool, the square tool, and the circle tool. These can draw some basic shapes on your schedule if you need them. Keep in mind that these three shapes, as well as the freeform text, are not anchored to any specific date on your schedule. So if your scheduled date range changes, the shapes or freeform text will remain in place and might not be positioned correctly. Symbol notes are a good alternative to using freeform text, as they can be locked to a certain date. Each milestones file has its own toolbox saved with it. If you would like to copy a toolbox to another schedule, you can do that by right-clicking on the toolbox and choosing Copy Toolbox. Then right-click on your Destination Schedules toolbox and press Paste Toolbox. Make sure both schedules are open in the same copy of Milestones Professional on your computer. You are also able to copy a single row and paste it somewhere else on your toolbox. For instance, I can copy this first row by selecting it with a small plus symbol and then right clicking and choosing Copy Selected Row. Then I can select another row in the toolbox and right click and choose Paste Copied Row over Selected to replace that row with whatever I copied. Thank you for watching this tutorial about the toolbox in Milestones Professional. For more videos, check out the videos page on our website. Have a nice day!